In this video we're going to put the end papers on the text block, glue the spine and trim the edges of the book. The end papers are the blank leaves at the beginning and end of the book. Just like everything else, the uh, grain of the paper has to run head to tail. And normally the end papers are a darker colour than the text block and a heavier weight. The outermost end paper gets pasted down to the inside of the board and is called the paste down. There's quite a few different types of end paper configurations. We're going to do the simplest one, which is just a single folded sheet of paper tipped on to the text block. More complex ones are sewn on, they have cloth joints to reinforce them. There's even an end paper design called a zigzag end paper. It has an expanding gusset that's designed to reduce the drag on the text from the boards. Before attaching the end papers, tip on the first and last sections. This is to stop the first and last sections from moving forward while rounding the book. Get a piece of waste paper and guard a strip 3mm wide at the spine of the section and use PVA to tip the two sections together. Don't get PVA on the tapes. The tapes need to remain free to move for when you're rounding and backing the book. As you're bringing the section over, pull it forward to make sure it lines up with the section below it. Give it a good rub down to make sure it keys in place. And then turn the book over and do the uh, last section. Attaching the end papers is a simple matter of tipping them on. Cover one end paper with the other and then the top end paper with a piece of waste paper so that you expose two 3mm strips.
apply PVA to the end papers. Brush away from the waste sheet so that you don't force it underneath the waste sheet. Align the end paper very carefully with the spine of the book. Give it a good rub down. Turn it over and align the second end paper with the spine. the text block under a board and some weights, just light weights, and leave it for 5 or 10 minutes. The next job is to glue up the spine. Knock up to the head and the spine and put it into your press. Make sure the uh, tapes are out. PVA, because of its flexibility, is perfect for gluing the spine. Don't glue the tapes. The, again, the tapes need to remain free at this stage. But use your bone folder to close up the sewing holes near the tapes and to push a little bit of glue down into the uh, holes, but not into the text block. Push the loose pieces of thread at the kettle stitch locations in between the grooves of the sections. Use your fingers to uh, massage the PVA um, down uh, into the um, grooves between the sections. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about guillotining the head and the tail and the fore edge. If you own a guillotine, you probably know how to use it, I hope.
Cut the foredge first, then the head, then the tail. Notice the compensator boards which is stopping the spine from being crushed. 